There are several main components to a proper purge ventilation system. The makeup air unit. Makeup air filters remove pollen, dust, and other particulates to provide the cleanest air possible to the range. The exhaust fan. The filter bank. Purge systems employ a two-stage filtration to remove lead and other contaminants from the exhausted air. The first stage, a MERV-15 bag filter, removes large particulates. The final stage, a MERV-17 HEPA filter, removes virtually all remaining particulates. The graduated supply duct and carries custom radial diffusers. The exhaust duct. The standalone direct digital control system and the variable frequency drives, or VFDs. These are the main components to a purge system. When working together, they provide a clean, safe, and compliant environment for the shooter. In a properly designed and balanced range, the smoke and particulates will move downrange and away from the firing line. When a firearm is discharged, airborne particulate lead is generated and released into the environment. In order to protect the shooters and range employees, range ventilation must comply with OSHA, NIOSH, and the EPA standards. In order to keep contaminants from leaving the live fire area, the range must be a closed, sealed envelope. The ventilation system must also maintain a negative air pressure inside the range as relative to the rest of the building. In the properly designed and balanced range, the smoke and particulates will move downrange away from the firing line. This is achieved by creating a wall of air that moves uniformly and consistently at 75 feet per minute across the range from floor to ceiling with little to no turbulence. 100% outside air enters the system. That air is filtered and supplied to the range. The air moves at an evenly distributed and constant rate of 75 feet per minute across the range with no turbulence, moving smoke and contaminants away from the shooter. The air is then drawn through the exhaust duct. The contaminated range air is filtered and exhausted to the exterior of the building. In many cases, the exhausted air is cleaner than the outside air in which it is being expelled.